Hi guys, this is Paul from Tesla Owners US and I just have to tell you that I got rid of my negative chamber and now I can remember because I asked Tesla about it and show, i show you a little bit about the effects of that and this comes after the intro. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life So here comes the next car And that's the Model S as I showed you before This one has been run off But what you have to take care of is actually the inside there And that's very difficult visible And I'm gonna show you why, because I wanted to change to 20, 21 inch wheels but now I have to go back to 19 because I have another set of 19 inch wheels and I have to go back to that and now I'll show you why. I saw you and I hope that they corrected that in the next Tesla. This happens all the time here. The thread is still good. If you see it from here, oh perfect, the thread is good. Yes, probably we still still can probably ride it, ride it for another 5,000 miles. But look at this here. This edge is running off because of the chamber. And here you can see it as well. Look at this. So these tires, that's are the regular fan tires, I could not put on. And that's why I changed to 19 inch. So there's one thing what I want to show you is uh, with a regular puck here, you can build yourself, this is a, a hose with a one inch hole, put that hose in there and then you can stick that in here, here, so that you can lift up your car easily and without any damage here because that hard rubber puck is here underneath. I use it all the time because that's uh, better and carefully. Absolute crucial, jack mode. So jack mode is on and it's now under service before it was somewhere else. But now under service you can turn the jack mode on. Then you see it when the wheel is off from the suspension. So don't forget that, that's important because otherwise you get a big trouble with your suspension and even some of the garages don't do that right sometimes and you are in trouble. Okay, and then after that, don't forget, turn around, service, car needs to be on to do that, jack mode off, then suspension goes to, yep, yeah, that works, oh, and test drive for sure, oh, and the wheels are not the right one, look at this, go to service, wheel configuration 19 inch wheels and then this is silver base 
Aerocyclone, uh, Slipstream. I actually, these are the right ones. Aero is not correct. Cyclone, kind of. Slipstream, no. Carbon Slipstream, no. Silver Tempest, no. Uh, from the color, this comes the closest. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, then it's gonna be that. And then we do a test drive. Oh, so, restart the machine. And then the new tires should be there. And then we check if the tires are being red again. And do a test drive. Yes, service. That are the tires. Jack mode is off. Everything cool. Showing you the preciseness. Front right, 32 psi. Showing right now. So now I've got this device here. I measure that. Here's front right. Take the valve cap off. Press on. On psi. Plug in. 46.5. Up. Oh. There are 15 psi difference. And then watch this message. Tire pressure sensors have been reset successfully. Still not correct. Driving a couple of miles. Still shows 32 psi. Should give me a warning for low tire pressure. Nothing happened. Not a warning and not a wrong reading. Whatever. I kind of watch that. I'm finding it every time. Now the left tire pressure is 32 and the right one is 46. It's gonna just flip around on me. Okay, it's on PSI. Let's check this one. 34. It's flipped it around. 33 and a half PSI. Yeah. Okay. Gonna check that at home. That's why we do test drives. Thing left, the wheel caps or the lock nut caps from here. See that one? Let's see if I can get them at the store here, at one of the car motor stores. I hope so. Riley Auto Parts, that's the last shop. So, and I saw these parts also at uh, an Audi, about the same year. They have the, probably the same lock nuts, 21 millimeter. So, what happened then is, I asked them, they asked so we cannot even look for Teslas because it's not in our drop down menu. I said, okay, Chris, look for Audi. And then he found Audi, found lock nuts, and then for the lock nuts, he found the lock nut caps, he found exactly that cap, not on stock. So it's gonna be taking two days before they're there, but the same as on the big South American River company as well. And so I'm gonna put over in there because I'm prime and it's there tomorrow. What the heck? So I think those guys are gonna lose their business. So, most of them don't have him. One of them just went completely out of business. And these guys here don't carry them in stock at any, in each of those locations. These are the only parts I'm going need because I'm going to lose these guys. Yeah, two sets of tire in no time. And why am I doing that? Very easy. Because on the Roadstar, I had the experience that one of the car companies, and I did not check that, they had the set points, they put the set points in the middle where the uh, coverage is, and they punched in the coverage for that. And that was not good, and I couldn't prove it later because when I one time went back to Tesla and they said, hey, these are punched in, so did you see that? What did you do there? I said, ah, oh, damn it, that was a tire, guys. So, that's one reason. The other reason, one time, the guys didn't set this jack mode. 
because you had just uh, took the tires off without the jack mode on, on and then the whole car went all the way out and up so and thankfully nothing happened but that was for the Model S so that's why now sometimes I just drop ship the tires to them let them do it and then I do the tire change for myself that's the most safest thing and then I know it's done right comparison for that one here is a 21 inch wheel which has the tire on a negative chamber you see that and here even something is busted out here now in comparison after Tesla fixed the chamber for me uh, put it on pretty normal then you see the tire which was worn out here and then you see here there's a little bit this is the outside here and it is pretty much worn in the inside and then there's a little bit but it's not too much right here this one is a little bit more it's a little bit more worn in the inside not on the outside there yeah, but that's kind of acceptable but from here if you see that here look at this so here you can this is the best to see what's the best way to see that here you can see here there's pretty much a lot of thread on that in the midst in the inside and on the outside here it's already worn out so there is a possibility to change the chamber on that and that's what we, I did and I asked Tesla about it and they did it for me and the wearing is now much better there's still a little slidey a little bit thing but they uh, a little wear on the inside but not so much and that's a good thing now the other option is that to have an thicker compound or uh, a different material on the inside of the tire instead so that it doesn't wear out that much but uh, the tire did not come out yet Michelin wanted to start with it but didn't come out so and that's all what I want to tell you it is a possibility ask Tesla if you don't want to have that uh, negative chamber and the wear out on the inside uh, by compromising for sure the, the handling in curves and uh, with extreme driving but I think uh, most of our Tesla guys are not that extreme drivers so there is a possibility to do that and ask Tesla about it they can change it and they can adjust the chamber so that it's not as much negative okay, and then you can remember those lug nut caps yes here that does does not look pretty <laughs> when the lock nuts are looking out or sticking out and here the old ones they are, are washing out after a while so I tried to get them as you s saw in the movie or in the video there I tried to get those and I, I think I drove through four stores or so, four automotive parts stores none of them had them now I think one, one store had some similar ones from Audi it's probably the same ones and uh, you could have gotten them for within two days but you know I bought from the big South American River Prime and here's the set uh, next day delivery and now I'm gonna put them on yeah, they even come with one of those clamps here I think they have a different version of that with in red there so I'm gonna put them on I don't know if that helps really much but uh, I don't I like to have these uh, things they are sticking out those lug nuts and it's better to put the black ones on the black wheel and that's what I'm gonna do now 19 inch wheels don't even look that bad when they are in glossy powder coated they're looking pretty good and uh, the tile gel on it and uh, everything there I'll just show you some 
uh, of the pictures there around. So the, the little problem is with the skidding. So what that uh, what it has is when you start the car, when you press the pedal down, there's quite a, some skidding, but it's okay. That was all. Thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There are more tips to come.